Hey guys, it's Kristen and I'm finally back with another video. I have poison ivy, so if you do see this, that's why. Um, I wasn't gonna film, but I was like, you know what? I'll just tell them that I have poison ivy. But anyway, I just got back from Minnesota not not quite a week ago. And I had so much fun with my cousin Bethany and I was so grateful to be able to go spend some time with them and get away. And I was just so blessed to be able to go do that but now I'm back in full force with my YouTube channel and we're gonna really get going I have this calendar here from Target and I literally um, have videos planned out for the rest of the July month August and September all planned and if you can notice there's like a little bit newer of a uploading schedule I did upload I have uploaded on Wednesdays in the past and um for a while, we're really going to stick with makeup. I just really enjoy makeup, and I have so many ideas for videos, and I really want to get those done for you guys. And, of course, if you do have some video requests, make sure you leave those down in the comment section below if you want to see um, the videos that you guys want to see. If you want me to film those videos for you, I will put those on the calendar and film those for you guys. I have October and November and December left that I need to fill up. Especially, I'm doing Ipsy and baggings now, and I'm waiting for my July one to get here. So, yeah. So, I mean, today's video is going to be the Crush Grape. I'm starting a new series. It's called the Soda Pop Look um, Inspiration. And I thought, no better shirt to wear, but this has kind of inspired me today. I was like, what can I really do with, a, like, a um, purple look or whatever? And I thought... Metallica purple soda pop collection like soda pop I you know I look so we're gonna go full force it's probably gonna be like 20 minutes long but I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope that you guys aren't too mad at me for not uploading um but I'm back in full force two times a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays so make sure you guys um don't miss out on that and turn that little notification bell on and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I really decided to do Saturdays because Sundays was just getting too hard for me and I wasn't able to upload on Sundays because I have church and then sometimes I stay after church and stuff. If we have church like after, like we sometimes we have night services and so like we stay after that and stuff like that. So, um, I just thought why not change that and make sure that I get um, videos up for you guys. So we're gonna do that on Saturdays. And if I don't upload on Saturdays, you'll see it on the Sunday. So, most likely you'll see it on Saturday. If you don't, you'll see it on Sunday or Monday. Just sometimes, just give me a benefit of the doubt. Um, I have to really put myself into this and really get it. Because I have every video planned. And if I miss it, then I'm going to have to move it. And that's going to be hard for me. So, don't worry. You guys are going to see videos full force. Make sure, again, that you subscribe. And, um... Turn on the notification bell because I'm going to be uploading a ton this month and the rest of this year and hopefully in 2018. So, without further ado, let's just get started into this tutorial. So, I figured that I would just do this some chit-chat style considering it's been forever since I've uploaded, well, to me. I've uploaded on my vlog channel though while I was with Bethany. I did have some Mall of America vlogs, but I just decided not to upload it. I feel like... I didn't get enough footage, and I mean, they were all really short vlogs, but I did put a lot of work into them and stuff. Like, I would edit them on the plane and stuff. So, if you want to go check that out, I'll be, I will try to remember to link my vlog channel down below if you want to see that. And, um, I don't know why I'm continuing to talk like an intro. But anyway, we're just going to do this chit check at Ready With Me style, um, so that I can kind of catch you guys up on some things. So, I think that I'm going to go ahead and start with my primer today. And I'm going to be using the Benefit Porefessional. This is like no particular shade or anything. It just helps minimize your pores. So we're just going to go in with that on the T-zone. This like really um, evens out like your skin texture and things. It just really gets the roughness like under control I feel like. And it just helps you really get everything under control so that's what I really enjoy about this primer is that it's like I don't know if it's silicone based or not but anyway it just really helps minimize the appearance of pores and that's what it's supposed to do so I mean at least it um keeps promises the next thing I'm going to be using is the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water I love this stuff this just kind of gives me that tackiness that I need so 
we're good to go with that. So for foundation today, I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in Rose Ivory. I feel like this is definitely a hit and miss for me, but I really do like it now that I got the right shade. So we're going to go in with this foundation again, and we're just going to roll with it. Um, I don't know. A lot of people like to apply it with a brush, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm just going to do two swipes. I like that this has an applicator. That's definitely amazing. So we're just going to... Go with it. This kind of smells like the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And it smells really good. I might need some more. But anyway, we're going to go in with this Bestopi brush. And I feel like that if you're starting out with makeup, even if you're not... This is a really good kit, and if I can find it, I'll try to link it down below, but this is like $8. Like, these brushes, there's like eight of them, and they're like $8 for the set. So, <laughs> I think it's definitely worth it. They're very high quality, so we're just going to blend this out using this brush. This is definitely buildable coverage, so we're just going to go in with a little bit more to give me just a little bit more coverage. You guys know the drill. Anyway, my hair is like all over the place. Like, please don't mind it. Okay, so after that, we're going to go with concealer. And today I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer in the shade Fair. And I'm just going to put this underneath my eyes. I feel like lately I've learned that putting a lot of concealer does not help anything. A little bit goes a long way with most concealers. So I feel like you don't really have to use much. Especially of this one. This one goes a long way too. And it really blends out really nicely. So we're just going to blend that in. So now we're going to use another flat top brush. This is the It Cosmetics brush. This is like the Ulta collection. I don't know if these are exclusive to Ulta. But I think this is called the Airbrush Foundation brush. But I use it for powder. So we're going to be using the... Um, Maybelline Better Skin Powder in the shade Classic Ivory to set my entire face. And I just really like to take this brush because it helps me like really just dab it in and get it nice and smooth. You can also just take really any brush. Just I feel like a really dense brush just really helps you get it really in there into your skin and like really smooth. But I'd really recommend this powder. I think it's like eight dollars, seven, six, I don't know. I think it varies depending on where you get it. Um, let me know also. I just like yesterday I kind of started like organizing my makeup some more. I need to get like more drawers, but let me know if you guys want to see like some sort of, you know, organization thing. I'm going to do, like, separate collections of, like, my eyeshadow palettes, my lipsticks, my foundations, and all that. But, yeah. So, we're just going to take some tape. This is, like, um, fake invisible tape from the Dollar Tree. You can get scotch, though. I mean, I'm going to get scotch next time. But I just found this. And I was like, oh, crap, I need tape. But I just didn't remember to get, like, better tape. Because they actually, I mean, Dollar Tree has... Scotch tape. You're just getting more on this, I feel like. It doesn't matter. You're taking it off anyway. So we're going to go into the, um, I actually just recently got the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia, and I'm going to be doing a Dr. Pepper look soon with this, and I'm really excited about that. The tape is in my eye. Okay. So we're going to go in with, I have this, like, Pro Fusion palette. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these, but, like, TJ Maxx has them. And I'm just going to go in with this because I've had this forever. And it has this really nice grape soda shades over here for, like, purples. So, we're just going to take this Naked Basics palette. But you can take, like, any matte palette you have. And I'm going to take, um, you can eye prime with your, like, eyeshadow primer. I just use my concealer and buff it up in there. But I'm going to be taking the shade W.O.S. in this um, Naked Basics palette. And I'm going to put it all over my lid. Once I get done with that, we're going to take the shade Faint as our transition shade. And I'm just going to take like a regular just angled um, crease brush. And I'm going to mix Naked 2 and Faint together to kind of get that perfect transition shade. The 
the more dense brushes can really pack the color on so just be really careful of trying not to get much thickness on there because you want the purple to counteract um I don't know I feel like Urban Decay has a nice purple but these are like really shimmery and stuff and like metallic so that's what I think you should do but if you want to go with a matte color by all means actually LA Colors has this palette that I actually have it's called the Bold Palette and I can't remember exactly what the shade names are or like what the palette is exactly called but I actually have it right here it's the shade Chic and it's like a dollar at the Dollar Tree and these are actually very pigmented it's just they don't really have any transition shades, but they're all matte, so it's up to you. These are actually very pigmented for the price. So we're just going to go in with this, like, really tapered defining brush. And I'm just going to take this, like, really nice color right here. Um, if you can see that it's like a pinkish but purple and I feel like this is like the perfect representation of crushed grape so we're just going to take that in and just start to put that in my crease I use this palette for just about everything it's really good if you want like a bunch of different colors I know it's not like this super um expensive or nice Gucci brand but in my opinion it's it's really good. I think it was like 10 bucks. And I mean, honestly, guys, you get like 80 shades in here. I don't even know if they still have it. I got it at Walgreens, but I feel like they sell this brand at TJ Maxx. I'm sure you could find something like it. I mean, I got it years ago when I first started makeup. So, like, I don't know. But then we're going to take this, like, flat topped brush here. And I'm going to go in with a, um, more muted purple this one right here there's no shade names and we're just going to kind of blend that out and it's more shimmery so you're going to really get that pigment that you want this purple is an interesting color to work with and i feel like they did a really good job with this palette so so far we have that and it's a little too dark for crushed grapes so we're going to go back in with that tapered brush and i'm going to take this color here the first color we started out with with this color right here and blend that into the crease. These do have some kick up, but I feel like it's not too much to worry about. Like, if you can find this palette and get your hands on it, I would. And you really want to use a dense brush because that way you can really pack the color on, even if you want to like spray your brush with some setting spray or MAC Fix Plus or whatever you really want to do. That would work. So there's that. And after that, we're just going to go in with the Ulta Beauty. You can honestly take anything. Actually, no, we're going to go in with my Modern Renaissance palette today. And we're just going to take the shade Primavera and pack that with this um, base shadow brush from Real Techniques. It's very tapered though. I wouldn't use this as a base color shade. But we're going to take Primavera and put that in the inner corner and just blend it out. So now we have that and I feel like that this is a look that the, um, that like a very nice, um, winged eyeliner will really come in handy but first I'm going to take this elf blending brush into my naked urban decay basics palette again and we're going to take crave and faint and kind of mix those together tap off the excess and kind of define the outer corner or the outer V don't cover up too much of the purple just kind of get it in there I feel like this palette is staple so after you do that, we're going to go back in with this tapered brush and kind of blend that out some more. Because that still has some of the purple on it, so we're going to really try to get that blended out into a nice purpley grape smoky eye. 
Once we're done with that, we're gonna go in with the NYX Two Timer um, Liquid Eyeliner Duo. It's like a felt tip on this side and then a pencil on this side. Um, I'm actually still looking for a good eyeliner, so if you have any suggestions, comment down below. So I'm just really gonna create that line with that tape still there. I make the weirdest faces when I do this, so I'm sorry. So I'm gonna go and take my tape off after getting that line on there. And we're just gonna wing it out. If you still can't do it, don't take the tape off, but I'm still looking for like a good eye uh, eyeliner like I was saying. I heard that the steel one is supposed to be really good. So if that's true, make sure to let me know or something because um, I had the Tarte one and it worked really good, but it just dried out like really quickly. And this is my mom's. I just stole it. So we have the wing on this side. We're just going to go ahead and do this side. Um, sometimes I just take the felt tip and just kind of rub it off on something to get that uh, eyeshadow off. Sometimes you have to take a tissue to really wipe off that excess eyeshadow. So there you have it. I feel like I could do better. And if you have a actually really good working eyeliner, it would probably work out so much better and look so much better than that. But oh, there you have it. Um, I know it doesn't look... You really have to be into those, like, vampy looks. So, we're actually going to go ahead and go in with the brows now. We're going to go in with the Anastasia Dip Brow. And I'm in the shade Chocolate, but just use whatever shade you're in. Or you can use the L'Oreal um, Brow Stylist Pomade. There's a bunch of different ones out there. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my brows. I'm just going to kind of start with an outline. People usually use this to do like soft hair like strokes, but um, it's kind of impossible for me considering the fact that I don't have any brows. So we're just gonna wing it, <laughs> literally. I'm actually using the Real Techniques brow brush for this and we're just winging it out. Sometimes that can happen with this so you have to be really careful. Just take a tissue and just rub it off. It's not a big deal. Usually you can fix it. You just really need to make it look clean. So, like, I'm really trying to get that freaking screw up right here without trying to mess up my eyeshadow. And there you have it. So, for contour and all that stuff, we're going to go in with the Benefit Cosmetics Cheek Parade Palette. And we're going to take the shade Hula in here which is the benefit hula bronzer if you don't want to get this whole palette which i really recommend it i don't even have the singles um i never just wanted to get that and it comes with a brush but i'm gonna be using this angled dense brush i'm taking hula and i'm just gonna be contouring with that so we're just gonna go in right underneath the cheekbones i just contour with a bronzer i feel like many people would be like ew kristen you know you can't do that but I can so it just because my skin tone is so fair I can pretty much contour with any shade it's fair yet it takes any color and really contours it so like I feel like any type of powder really contours you don't have to use a specific um type I'm really trying to blend that out and if you don't blend it too well, you can just kind of take your powder brush and just kind of clean it up a little bit or blend it out 
whatever you so desire and take a little bit more and put it up here. And then I just take Hula Light to bronze up the skin. And I'm just gonna use this brush actually because it's very dense and we're just gonna go with it. We're gonna kind of bronze up the skin. I feel like this is too light for me to contour with. So, I mean, I see what their, what their objective was, but I just feel like I'm just gonna bronze up the skin with this. I do need a nice bronzer brush, but for right now, this is working fine. I don't know if I just got a bad one, but like this is not pigmented at all. It's really like putting powder. Like if you were a medium skin tone, this would be like foundation powder for your skin. So now we're gonna go in with California on this multitask brush by Raw Techniques. And I love this blush. Um, I'm just gonna kind of mix that with Rockateur by them in the palette. And just kind of... Now I'm gonna blend, okay? <laughs> I feel like Dandelion's also really good. So we're gonna take my powder brush again and bl really blend all this together to really give myself that nice sun-kissed glow. It looks like so much more pigmented in the camera than it does on like an actual real life, but we're just gonna roll with it. So now after we get done with that, we're gonna take the my favorite highlighter of all time and I'm gonna be taking the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in the shade Golden Light on the Real Techniques setting brush or fin yeah setting brush and we're just gonna pop that we're gonna smile real big and we're gonna pop that on the apples of my cheeks this stuff is blinding and if you don't like blinding highlight then one you're watching the wrong chick and two like this isn't for you but they do have um other ones a lot of people make the mistake of like highlighting all up here when you're supposed to use like concealer or like a really light foundation powder to highlight there not a shimmer <laughs> So that's gonna be all that for the face. We're gonna take the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I think like if your Ulta still has the older packaging, it's only $10 for the big one. So go see, if not, it's like 30 something, but it's totally worth it and it lasts forever. I lost my lid, but we'll, we'll, we'll go back to that. We're gonna take this and we're gonna, just gonna set my face. I'm in love with this setting spray. After that, I don't I don't like to do mascara. You can use lashes. If you were if I were to use lashes, I'd be using my Ardell Wispies. There's not a specific number, but this is the only Wispies that you can buy in the multi-pack, I think. So there's four of them in here. So I would recommend these. These are my favorite. They're dramatic, but they're not too dramatic. So I'm just going to take the Duce Max Lash Volumizer Mascara. You guys know I only use a mascara for once a month. I got this in my Ipsy bag like a month ago. Like, yeah, last month. And I'm in love with this mascara. So we're just going to, like, I want to find it and get more. Because this is such a good mascara. And it just really, like, the wand on this is almost as good as the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. Like, it is so good. So that's just... You can't really tell because of the eyeliner on the camera. But you can in person. And that's a big deal because, like, I don't have that much lashes. Like, to the point where you can really see them. is like, very volumized. So, I really like... this mascara for that sorry the mail lady just run i hope they brought my empty bag today so i can film that video as well so that is the finished look for the um crush grape look so i am sorry that this video was so long we're really going to try to edit it down some but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys are excited for more videos to come and that we're uploading 
Wednesdays and Saturdays now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and like this video if you like these types of videos and you will definitely see more of them. I have different ones coming up soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, Girl Scout.